Hello everybody, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We are sticking with the winter theme today and we're going to be painting a snowman. And I somehow, not somehow, but I have avoided painting a snowman on my channel. I don't believe I have a snowman tutorial on this channel in the three or four years that I've had this channel. So. The reason being is because it's very, you know, it's not as easy to paint a snowman or, uh, sorry, a white object on a white piece of paper. Um, so you kind of have to go about it in different ways. So I'm going to attempt it today because I'm inspired by Aya Antonia Nikolova, which I'll include in the description. <clears throat> she painted a beautiful snowman and it gave me the inspiration to try it out. So. We're going to be working with the shadows of this snowman. So I've got, um, what do I have? Uh, like a grayish blue tone that I've picked up and I just watered it down. Um, and we're going to be basically applying shadow where each ball meets another ball. Because the snowman is usually made up of three, two or three balls. So I'm going to make a, a three balled sorry, a snowman that has like three sections to it. Um, so let's see here. I guess we can, actually it would be probably wise. Yeah, okay. We're like two minutes into this tutorial and I haven't even started painting. But I'm gonna sketch it out with a pencil first just cause that will probably be a lot easier to follow. So. My bottom third is going to be a little bit flattened on the bottom since the snowman has to sit on something. Like each section is going to be like a little flattened where one um, ball meets another. So here's another one. And then the last third. So that's roughly what we want our little guy to look like. And you can of course erase the pencil marks so that, or at least in the sections where they join, so it doesn't show through the watercolor. That should be Good. I know that you probably can't see this very well, but it's only important that the person painting it can see it. So let's begin. Um, I'm going to start with this section where this ball meets this one. So right in that section where they meet uh, on the left and the right side, we're going to do this. That little triangle area, that's what you want to darken a little bit. So... <clears throat> It's going to look something like this and it's going to go down a tad bit, something like that. I'm just switching brushes. I was trying out a new brush there and I am not a fan so far. Sorry. I love, I love the palette but the paintbrush by the same brand probably I'm using it for the wrong application <laughs> but here I'm just oh my gosh I have green on my paintbrush this is like my never-ending problem but I'm trying to blend out that color and uh yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out for us. This is why I've avoided painting a snowman on this channel. So, I'm... Unfortunately, I have green on my paintbrush. Or yellow or something, which is creating an effect that I don't want. So I'm just trying to create shading, essentially. But I don't want it to be as harsh. Like, I wanted it to be a lot more subtle. 
we'll come back to that corner thing later once I figure out what to do. But I'm putting shading on the sides here. And see, you can learn with me because I I don't uh, I never try my techniques or my my paintings, my landscapes, whatever. I never paint them first. I always paint them for the first time when I'm filming the tutorial. Um, and once in a while, like today, I get to a painting that just doesn't work out on my first try because I don't know the technique that was used. So I'm trying to create shading here. It's just challenging because, um, you know, a snowman is supposed to be white. And I don't know how she, like, this This snowman is now looking like I used dirty snow to make it. So, uh, right now I'm just filling in the three balls with, like, this extremely light gray color. Unfortunately, I didn't erase my pencil marks well enough because you can see through. So this is turning out to be a little bit of a disaster so far all around. Um, yeah. I'm just... I'm waiting because I want this to dry a little bit before I go back to what I originally started doing, which was applying that um, uh, that shaded portion that separates the two halves. Because the reason why we're putting a shadow here, 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 and here, and probably here and here as well, is because there's shadow created by the overhanging snow on on top of this ball and on top of this ball and on top of the ground, of course, as well. So that's that was the intention there. I'm just gonna switch back to this brush. The reason why I wasn't a fan of this brush is because it's too soft. Like I can't utilize that point very well. Um, but I'm going to try again. I'm just gonna do the bottom here. Uh, So I'm trying to create that shadow. And then maybe another one on this side. But I don't want it to be as, what would you call it, um, harsh. I don't know what I'm doing now. Now I'm just spreading it out and that is not what you want to do do not do what i'm doing right now it's the paint i'm blaming the paintbrush <laughs> the paintbrush is what caused that little mishap there i don't like the paintbrush sorry grabby but this is my first time trying your paintbrushes and so far so not good I love their palette, I love their palette, but these particular brushes are not my favorite. Which is really too bad, they looked very promising. Um, okay. So this has probably mostly dried, it probably hasn't, but you know, I'm not very patient. So I'm just gonna go right in for it. You know what? I think part of my problem is that I'm grabbing like a purpley gray instead of a bluish gray. But 
The other thing that I know that I've done wrong is I outlined this snowman. Like it, you can clearly see three balls for a snowman and that's what we wanted to do is use the shading to outline the three sections and um, that's what I did wrong but it's too late now to do anything about that. Um, it is what it is. What we can do is just appropriately apply this shading that I keep talking about. There is a good chance you might not see this tutorial because this is not, uh, you know, sometimes they just don't work out for me. And this is probably why I've avoided doing a snowman for all of these years because it's just, um, I don't know how to do it. Because usually when I have a reference photo, I can recreate it pretty well, even though I, I have no idea how the original artist painted it. But this is just really, like I'm, I'm finding this challenging for some reason. So I'm not connecting these shadowy bits. In fact, they're too dark. Like I do want to not make them as dark. Like I wanted it to be more cloudy if, that makes sense. <sighs> so some people are going to really dislike the fact that I am painting this way where I don't have a plan or at least it's not working out for me. And some people are really going to appreciate it. And I can't please everybody. But lately I've been getting a lot of unhappy comments that I'm either talking about something unrelated because that's what I like to do in between instructions when I'm painting 17 pine trees and there's really nothing left to instruct, so I just talk about my day. Some people don't like that. They're not a fan. And to that I say, life's tough, wear a helmet. <laughs> no, that's mean. Um, but yeah, I don't know, like what, what else would I, do, do I just sit in silence? Um, I would assume that people would appreciate having some kind of topic of discussion while while I'm painting a step that takes longer to paint, but there's no further instructions to be instructed. You tell me. So, see, like right now, it's it would just be silence if I wasn't talking about something. Um, <clears throat> we got this really pretty snow the other day, three day, three or four days ago, and I've never, it's the kind of like sticky snow that sticks to branches and makes it look like a winter wonderland. And uh, it, it stayed on the like completely on the trees for three days, which is a record. Like usually it blows off the same day or the next day. Um, Cause it's usually like powdery snow, but yeah, this one stayed on. Anyways, today we had uh, positive temperatures. So it's all melting. And if you go for a walk in the forest, you're gonna get really wet because we had freezing rain, so there's first like a layer of ice on all the branches and then this beautiful powdery snow on top. So <clears throat> this is not as effortless, I will tell you that. This is not as effortless as uh, the lady that I got this from made this look. Aya, I think is her name. Um, hers looks much nicer, but we are doing what we can. Like mine looks way too uniform. Uniform hers is, you know, when you make a snowman, your the balls of your snowman, like the the 
body sections are not perfect circles. Um, like I've made them here, they're, there's more variation to them. But alas, what can you do? Um, maybe to make it a little bit more effortless looking, I'll have like a little droplet here and there. So do a little splatter there, a little splatter there. Although I was kind of banking for a slightly larger droplets. Mm. More like that large. This is purely for like abstract aesthetic purposes. <laughs> You definitely don't have to do this on yours, but I don't know. I just wanted to make it look a little bit less perfect. So I don't know, guys, this tutorial is going on. It's like 16 minutes long now. I think that's a little excessive for a snowman. But uh, let's move on to the to the next part. Let's make this look like a snowman. So I'm going to give it a scarf. I'm going to give it little stones down the center. Um, what am, what am I going to do first? Maybe the scarf. I'll do the scarf first. So I'm going to try another brush here. Perhaps this one is a little more my style. Let me see. Yeah, it, mm, we'll find out. I, I like to, like I'm used to stiff like stiffer bristles that give me more control. Um, but anyhow, so my scarf, like you can make your scarf whatever color you want. Um, I'm gonna go with the classic red. You can have pink, you can have whatever works for you. So my husband right now is watching the baby and he had a goal to, sorry, I'm trying to come up with an appropriate color choice here. I know so far all of the, this grabby palette comes with so many shades of one color or so many like hues of one blue, green. So I'm trying to find the one that I like the most. So this one works. Anyway, his goal was to try and make the baby sleep in the day um, because she does not sleep in the day. She's just over three months old and this kid does not sleep in the day, which, you know, I'd rather have that because she sleeps really well at night. Um, so I'd rather have that than than her sleeping in the day and then not sleeping at night. So I'm not necessarily complaining, but it's it's difficult to get very much done in the day um, because she does not sleep. And unless I'm holding her, like she's crying, if I'm not holding her, you know, you get it. If you have children, you understand what I'm saying. And so his goal for this weekend was to try and get her to sleep in the day. Um, she'll sleep like if we wear her in the baby carrier. Um, but that thing, like you can't wait. I mean, I'm sure some people do. They wear their baby all day, but my back starts to hurt. So, uh, and yeah. And... Needless to say, I hear her crying and I hear him trying to use all his fancy apps to get her to calm down. Um, okay, so sorry, I'm painting the scarf. I've painted one like kind of concave horizontal strip here. 
Uh, and I'm going to paint um, another like two, two scarf pieces coming down here. We are going to fix their shading afterwards. Right now I just want to get the rough shape of the scarf down. So I have one vertically running piece down here and then I'll have another one overlapping it but we'll add some shading to make it look more realistic uh, later on. So in a previous tutorial I was talking about how excited I am to get um, this wall behind our wood stove done and that the contractor like we were waiting for a quote and blah 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 it's still not done like I don't know contractors are really good at what they do but their communication is really not the best um Also, someone commented that I say um too much, and now I'm self-conscious about that. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of hate on my videos recently. I'm trying, guys. Come on. Cut me some slack. So, yeah, that, that wall is still not done. I'm still waiting for... I, I have two contractors that I'm waiting for a quote from, because the first one just never responded. The second one, it's like if I didn't keep calling and following up, I don't think it would ever happen. I don't know... They must have a lot of work where they can afford to not respond to people in a timely fashion. So I have one vertical uh, scarf coming down here, like one piece, and then I painted this little hump because the other one I want to make, make it look like it's tied around itself. So we like it's gonna come down like this and like this and like this, but this we will fix in a moment, and then it won't come down all the way. It'll come up to like here. So for this snowman, it is all in the details. Like the external details, not the snow part of the snowman. And that is where I shine, is all the insignificant details. <laughs> so we have to let this dry a little bit. I'm tempted to just add a few features now. Because um, we need to add shading to separate some of these pieces. So for instance, this is gonna look like this. No, I have to make that part. The reason why I'm adding shading here is because I want this piece to look like it's overlapping this piece. And there's going to be like a dark dark little hump like this that comes down um and this part is going to be darker as well but we have to i think let this dry a little bit before we can add too much more to this in the meantime uh actually wait i'm just gonna add a little bit of darkness coming from here to make it look a little bit more 3D and from here, something like that. Okay, so let's, while we're waiting for the scarf to dry, I am gonna go ahead and paint some um, twigs for the sides, for the hands of the snowman. So you can use whatever brown that you want. I literally have like seven browns to choose from <laughs> in this palette that I'm using. 
So I use, I have my palette up here with all the colors, but I have to use the metal part from my old palette so I can mix things. Uh, so anyways, I'll do the left side first because I don't want to smudge anything. So, I mean, we're just painting a deciduous branch basically. So just have it coming out and pointing whatever way that you want. You can make it as thick as you want. It's completely up to you. But I should probably make this a little bit thicker. I hear silence, so maybe my husband accomplished his goal. He is so good at getting our baby to be quiet or to stop crying. He's armed with all these techniques that I just don't have the patience for. He read a few books when I was pregnant, and I guess they work. The techniques in those books work. But the thing is, I don't necessarily want her to sleep in the day. It's kind of like a, what do they call it? It's bittersweet, but that's not the saying that I'm going for. It's, it's nice when she sleeps in the day, because then I can, act, I can actually get things done during the week when my husband's at work. But that never happens. She almost never sleeps in the day. Like, she will have a 10-minute nap max max so um yeah it's nice from that perspective however the less she sleeps in the day the more she sleeps at night the fuller the longer she'll sleep so on and so forth <sighs> which we've been lucky we've been quite lucky with that because she's always been a very good sleeper um, like we, it is consistent that we only get up once before 6 a.m. Like we'll go, we'll per, put her to bed at, uh, somewhere between 9.30 and 10.30 and she won't wake up until between 2.30 and 4. So, I quite like these little branches. I really like my deciduous branches. They're very sharp. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we now here? Oh, the other thing we can do, although I'm kind of tempted to wait, is add those little stones, little buttons going down. Um, but we can do the face. So this little snowman is gonna have some eyes, we gotta give him some eyes. Some tiny little eyes. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then he'll have little stones for his mouth. Giving him a nice smile. Okay. And I want some rosy cheeks for this. For this little guy. So I'm taking some pink. Wow, these <laughs> circles for the cheeks are not uh, working out for me too well. I also don't want them to be so bright. I want them to be much more subtle. Like so. And we need to give him a little carrot nose. Or you can have a button nose, but just to add a little more color to this painting. I will give him a carrot nose.
that's a little too bright but I'm gonna add some black in oh that is too much black mix your color out of the painting so you don't end up with this problem Voila. Okay. And I'm tempted to give him a little hat, like a top hat for funsies. Uh, but I'm a little nervous to do so. Maybe I can just give him like a cute purple hat instead. Aubergine. Or maybe we'll make it black. I don't know. I wish I had like a real-time advice column. Like where you guys tell me what you think I should do. That looks a bit strange. I'm not going to. <laughs> Maybe I should give him just like a, a tiny top hat like this. It's better than having nothing, I think, at the top. And I didn't want to go for the full top hat. But that looks not so bad. You know what? Once we start adding all these details, it really ends up looking not too, too bad. So back to the scarf. I don't think it's fully dry, but I just want to... See, I just added like a little hook and then I went downwards with that. And also here to make that second part of the scarf look like it's like there's a shadow. It's not so bad, I think. And then maybe a little bit on this side to separate that. Okay, not so bad at all. So the other thing I want to do is, um, perhaps I should have done it before adding the scarf, but then it might have shown through because uh, it's black. But I want to add those little black stones that run down the snowman, um, but I think I'm gonna have to wait until the scarf dries because it, I'm gonna be painting like half stones basically. Um, I'll just paint one right down below here so we have a full one, and then I'll paint like a half stone here and a half stone here. But you guys don't need to wait for me to do that, um, I think it's pretty self explanatory. That is basically it for our snowman. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think, what you would do differently. Uh, subscribe, hit like. I don't know if I said that already, but I will see you in the next tutorial.